This is Angels Live from the Big A. It's the Halos and the Padres rubber match. Great pitching matchup. With the Padres in town, it also means the legendary voice of Dick Enberg is here as well. Having grown up in Los Angeles, we're talking the Angels, the Bruins, Sports Challenge. I see him up there in the meal room. I'm too shy to go up and talk to him, but luckily he's here. He's joined by Victor Roas and Mark Gubaza. He's got the Ford Frick. He's going into yet another Hall of Fame, guys. Hey, it's unbelievable, Patrick, to be uh, not only just to the north of us, of course, a legend of uh, Vin Scully and to the south, now the legend of Dick Enberg, uh, Padres television voice. And I would imagine it was absolutely fantastic for you in December when you got the call that you were the uh, Ford C. Frick Award winner. Victor had brought me to my knees. I mean, there were 30 candidates, all of them deserving of the award. And I thought, well, it got to the final 10. At least I have a one-tenth of a chance. And when the call came from Cooperstown, uh, I, I just totally broke down. I, I mean, all of us who have grown up with this sport, and I was teethed on a miniature baseball bat. My <laughs> grandfather went to 35 consecutive Detroit Tiger openers. It's in my DNA, and I really, it, when it's in your soul, you care pretty deeply. Yeah, Dick, and, and you did a lot of Angel games. Who was the one guy that you absolutely had to watch and be able to have fun talking about? Well, Nolan Ryan. I mean, we were lucky enough. We had Ryan and Tanana and two days of crying. Uh, <laughs> but when Ryan pitched, we'd get big crowds. We'd get as many as 15,000 at the Big A when Ryan pitched, and he threw those two no hitters in 73 and I don't know how you guys feel but doing all the sports there is nothing more delicious for an announcer to sink his teeth into than a no hit no run game. Yeah, Dick, obviously last time you threw out the first pitch, how would uh, Noel Ryan rate your first pitch well, last night? Yeah. <laughs> I've, now I've got an excuse. i got a torn labrum. I was just happy that I didn't spike it. Uh, Ryan, uh, you could hear that ball sing when you were down. With, you know, the booth used to be down a whole level right. lower. You, you could hear the ball coming in. i got to ask you, now that you're a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame, you're the Football Hall of Fame, Basketball Hall of Fame, what's next for you? Well, I, I just want to enjoy um, rubbing shoulders with all the greatness uh, with whom and with which I'm associated. And I, I, just before we go, I, I do again want to uh, thank the, the Angels for the classy way in which they presented that li last night. And I got back with Gene Autry's boots in the room last night and looked at those. And when I turned them over, they had been worn by the cowboy himself. Oh, all the more precious. That is fantastic. I know you're very close to the Autry family, and yeah. Jackie stopped by as well. So it's got to be a, a huge thrill for you to uh, throw out the first pitch and have the Angels honor you. Obviously, the uh, Fort C. Frick Thank Award you. winner, and it's uh, congratulations Thank to you, you. And joining the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame. Thank you, Victor. Thanks Mark. for stopping. You ready for that speech? It. So you're ready yeah. for that speech? <laughs> That's right. And we'll see the Angels in the World Series. Okay. Oh, there you go. That sounds real good. Dad. We hope Thanks. so. That'd be great. Yeah. Patrick, back to you. Victor, Mark, and Dick, thank you so much. And maybe tonight the Angels are able to win this game, even though Dick's calling it for the Padres. We can hear, and the halo shines tonight, which he made famous here calling Angels games. I mean, such an honor to have him here. The guy did everything, absolutely everything, to the biggest level. Biggest level, also to the lowest level, because he's so humble. He relates to pretty much everybody. Students come to him and ask him, what should I do if I want to become a broadcaster? He goes, write. Write a lot, take uh. some writing classes, because you're always describing something in play-by-play -play or as an analyst. I recall back in 1982, Augie Garrido had me take him from the football field where a football team was practicing for the Super Bowl here in Southern California, 1983. And... Um, he said, take him along and walk him over to the football house at Cal State Fullerton. And then he asked me what I wanted to do, if I, how school was going, and he gave me the same advice. You want to be a broadcaster? Take more writing classes. How about that? that that's tremendous advice. I had an opportunity. I should have <laughs> asked him a question. Might have learned something. All right, quick break. When we come back, All-Star Fix. We're going to get you involved. Fox Sports Connect debuts here at Angels Live. We'll also hear from Mike Trout about what he thinks about the voting system.